Hi there. Welcome to Wild Adventure. I'm Tom Bounce again, and we're here at Minnehaha Falls in Minneapolis. We're going to be stalking the wily Penis Spedicus Plasticus, or the Domestic Breaker. You may be wondering why we're at the falls. It turns out some of these dogs are very water-loving creatures, and the sound of a waterfall will jog in like a bat. As you know, the Greyhound is one of the fastest land mammals on Earth. There are also some of the fastest land mammals in the water, but not for very long. I wanted to tell you a story that my grandfather told me. Bit of a joke, really. Why don't you play cards with a cheetah? <laughs> because it's a wildcat and it will eat your face off. Grandpa wasn't much of a joker. Anyway, no Greyhound sightings as of yet. I think there might be too many people. Greyhounds are known for their shyness and staying away from people. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for stalking the wily greyhound. On Tom Rems again, and we're on the hunt. Well, I think we've managed to find a bit more secluded spot for our greyhound hunting. This is all that's left of the Brewster Hunting Lodge. It was built in 1932 and was one of the most spectacular hunting lodges in the Minnesota wilderness until 1937 when it burned to the ground, and this is all that remains. A huge walk-in fireplace. However, greyhounds used to hunt here all the time, and I think some of them may still remain to this day. Sigmund Brewster was one of the most well-known philanthropists in the Minneapolis area. In 1937, when the hunting lodge burned down, he actually donated a lot of the land to the Minnesota State Park System and this turned into park territory. It's undergone some renovation since then, but it's essentially still a wild place, and there are wild animals that live here, including, we hope, the wily greyhound. We still haven't seen one yet, but we're working on it. So, it's a bit difficult to be walking around here. The trails are unbelievably full of woods and sticks and things that you could trip over. Got to be very careful of your steps around here. But, this is what we do. This is why we're the professionals. There are a lot of wily creatures in these woods. Believe you me. A lot of trees to dodge, a lot of branches to walk around. Bruce, the cameraman, decided to bail early. For some strange reason. I think it might have been the mosquitoes. It might have been the stories of how dangerous the wily greyhound is. They're a dangerous lot. They do have a sort of an urban camouflage. And they try and lull you into a sense of security. I'm not bleeding talent, I shouldn't have to carry me on equipment. Capturing the elusive greyhound in these deep dark woods is going to be a difficult proposition. If you notice though, we have signs. There's a trail that runs through the woods right here. These are the kind of trails that the Greyhound use for their foraging expeditions. I think we may be in luck. I hear, I, yeah, yeah, there she is. There she is. She's foraging. Oh, she's wandering through the brush. Oh, this is a gorgeous, this is a gorgeous specimen right here. Oh, there she goes over the hill. Let's see if we can follow her into this brush. See if we can capture this elusive greyhound. Try and do it without being too noisy. Because she just might... Oh, yes, oh, she's over here. She's seen us. She's seen us, mate. There she is. She's walked right by us. I don't think she noticed us. We might be too well camouflaged. No, she's laying down in the tall grass. Laying down in the bushes. How are we going to get out of this one? Oh, I don't know, mate. If we make too much noise, she's going to hear us and get spooked. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and sneak up on her and see if she'll say hi. Because usually if they're in the water, they're awful docile. Very, very docile creatures when they're in the water. I think you can see the docility in her face. See? Another dog comes up. Oh, she's getting spooked. She's getting spooked a little. Oh, there she goes. Okay. 
Yeah. A lot of living creatures. I'll tell you. There she goes, being fast. That's why they call them Domesticus fastest fastest. Fa well, no. Canis speedicus. Dogs are inherently very fast and deadly. Until here she's hiding most of herself in the water so that she can capture some unsuspecting wildebeest that might wander by. We're gonna try, we're gonna try a we're gonna try and see if we can get a we're gonna try and see if we can get an actual contact. Oh no! No! There she goes in the water. Still a little skittish of humans. Oh, oh, look, she's come right to us. She's come right to us. This, this is unbelievable. This is bloody unbelievable. I've got the elusive wild greyhound in my clutches. I've caught the elusive greyhound. Oh, she's a beauty. She's such a beauty. All stripey. All stripey and stuff. So, we actually managed what we accomplished to do when we set out for the day. We were able to find the wily greyhound and stalk her in her natural habitat. And we even got physical contact. That was so amazing. They're such beautiful creatures. Dangerous, but beautiful. Thank you for watching. This is Tom Rems again for Wild Adventure. <laughs>